did you know she wasn't his girlfriend? Because she's not 12. <laughs> October of 2005. The prosecuting attorney would not say how many female victims there are. 13 she would months only in say jail. There was more than Former Miami care U.S. Attorney Alexander Acosta handled that deal. Females. Acosta is now secretary. You Could you please give us your name? Jeffrey Epstein. Is it true, sir, that um, you have what's been described as an egg-shaped... Prison and power. Funny how they work. Power in prison doesn't translate well in society when you get out. Power in the real world doesn't save you in prison as long as there are more powerful people in society to protect. Maxwell. Scapegoat. Epstein. Liability. Here's a brief look at how the secret world of the rich, powerful, and protected unfolds when they are too sloppy to cover their own tracks. Let's explore. Ghislaine Maxwell was born on Christmas Day in 1961. What a gift to the world. The youngest of nine children to Robert and Elizabeth Maxwell. You that is little girl, like, you know, you were the youngest. What, what do you feel your parents were expecting you to become? Like all parents, they want their children to be happy. Are you happy? Criminality seems to run in her family. Long story short, she was the favorite child. Her dad, Robert, named his yacht the Lady Ghislaine after his daughter. After he purchased the New York Daily News in 1991, Ghislaine was to act as an emissary to represent her father. But he had an accident on the yacht and his body was discovered shortly after. After his death, the news of his fraudulently appropriated 440 million euros from Mirror Group newspapers had come to light. You'll never be 100% sure of exactly what took place. The only thing I'm sure of is that he did not commit suicide. Two of Ghislaine's brothers, Ian and Kevin, were arrested in June 1992 and charged with fraud before being acquitted in January 1996. Maxwell met Epstein in 1995, according to the civil court cases detailing his abuse. In 1999, Maxwell first encountered Virginia Goofrey, who accused Epstein of abuse in 2015 and was basically the first victim to expose the secret life of the billionaire to the news and capture the world's attention. This guy, there's an opportunity actually, if you want to become a real massage therapist, we can get you trained, you can come for the interview tonight, and if he likes you, then you'll be a real masseuse. And you'll get to see the world. During the time of this event, Virginia was just a minor working at the Mar-a-Lago resort of Donald Trump. In a New York Magazine article, Trump described Epstein as a terrific guy and praised his taste in women. In 2000, Maxwell and Epstein attended a party at the Queen's estate in Norfolk by the invitation of her friend, Prince Andrew. The history of accusations have added up over the years. In 2005, a parent came forward about her 14-year-old being misused after Epstein allegedly offered her $300 to massage him while he was unclothed. When the FBI searched his home, they found the two hidden cameras and Amazon receipts for books on trafficking. Epstein pled guilty to procuring a child for inappropriate services and soliciting inappropriate services in 2008. He only served 13 months of his 18-month sentence. This plea deal agreed with state prosecutors and future Trump administration cabinet member Alex Acosta. It starts to feel frighteningly connected now, doesn't it? This allowed him to escape a harsher sentence despite federal officials having identified at least 36 girls who could make similar allegations against him. When you're that rich and well-connected, not even evidence is enough to truly stop you once and for all. At least not the first time. It all needs to come to a boiling point to where it's no longer suspicious and convenient from the outside looking in. In fact, it got so bad that Miami Herald journalist Julie Brown's reporting would later indicate as many as 80 girls had been abused by Epstein. Sad day for, for his victims because, you know, quite frankly, um, they've been robbed of their day in court, the day that they had really worked for, you know, and, and many of them had uh, hoped for for a long time. Following his release, Maxwell had seemingly parted ways with Epstein. Funnily enough, she turned her eyes toward environmentalism, probably to alleviate her own guilt for her actions or to save face if she ever had to take the fall. Whether for business or image, it clearly didn't work out. The Terramar project started in 2012 to conserve oceans and fell through in 2019. 
Glenn Maxwell, founder and president of the Terra Mar Project, a nonprofit whose mission is to create a global ocean community to protect and promote sustainable development of the ocean. Um, I noticed that my speech today was leveraging technology to create a global ocean community. I'm going to change that on you and I'm going to leverage technology to create a new country. During that time apart, Jufri's case set ablaze a firestorm in January 2015 when she outed Ghislaine and Jeffrey for who they really were. Of course, she denied the claims, but she was tracked down in hiding from her phone after she made calls to several people, including her sister and legal representatives. She was arrested on July 2nd, 2020. July 12th, 2021. Just one year and 10 days later, her trial began. Miss Maxwell is innocent and should not have to guess about what evidence the government claims warrants her continual incarceration but stubbornly refuses to identify or disclose, her defense team said. Two days later, 112 legal documents relating to her case amounting to thousands of pages were made public, with one notable statement alleging, Maxwell directed a room full of underage girls to kiss, dance, and touch one another in a physically intimate way for the defendant and Epstein to watch. Those court documents, of course, are sealed and who knows what other acts or big names were involved. Now on December 29th, 2021, she has been found guilty of five of the six charges placed against her. She was apparently seen to be not showing too much emotion, taking little sips of water in court. If ordered to serve all five sentences, it could potentially be 65 years consecutively. Apparently, her little black book of names will not be revealed to the public. Who are they protecting? Speaking on BBC Radio 4's Today program, Lisa Bloom, a lawyer representing eight of Epstein's accusers, appeared to be satisfied with the ruling and said that she expects Maxwell will spend the rest of her life in prison. We hope that she never walks free again, she said. The trial showed that she was no scapegoat. She wasn't on trial for hanging around with Jeffrey Epstein. She was on trial for her own actions, Lisa Bloom continued. She was no victim not in her own right. She knew very well what she was doing. The real victims who she made engage with other acts with one another. That's who deserves our sympathy, not her. She willingly signed on to provide minors for the rich and powerful. Maxwell continued her scouting on Epstein's Island, which housed guests like Bill Clinton and several other high profile names. This is the very reason that several suspect that the court documents are sealed pin one and protect the most powerful. And then there's Epstein himself, his mysterious passing in prison, which just felt a little too convenient. No one really believes that this is a coincidence. None of this underneath the surface has ever been a coincidence. Subscribe to join the universe. Two years ago, the name Maxwell was like power, money, everything. What do you feel right now when you're carrying this name? I don't know. You tell me what you think. <laughs> I'm proud of it. And you don't? And you didn't even think for one second to change it? No, I love my name. I was born with it, and I'm proud of it, and I shall remain proud of it forever.